Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you, Carlos? I'm fine. Good, good, nice. Xiomara, can you hear me? Juan Carlos, Hello. can you hear me? Yes, yes teacher. Okay, good evening. Good evening. How was your day, people? Tired, but fine. Tired. 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 And, and what's the new, the show of the political? Yep. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, it's political comment. Yeah, it's, uh, it's El Salvador, so you can expect anything. Exactly. Okay. Anyways, all right, what's today's date? Today's July 22. July, July 22nd. Yeah. No, 22. 22nd. Ah, okay, 22nd. Yes, 22nd. July 22nd. Okay, mm -hmm. what's the reason we say 22nd and not 22? Because it's uh, a day, it's a day. It, it's a date, uh -huh. right. It's a date. And in English, um, every day is ordinal. Every day is ordinal. All right. Uh, first, second. Exactly, first. exactly. Uh, yes. Okay. All right, so do you remember the topics that we covered uh, yesterday? I wasn't. <laughs> okay, the ones that were here? Which topics did we cover yesterday? Countable uh, nouns. Countable nouns and non-countable, yes. What's the difference between too much and too many? So, too many wow. is used for uh, non-countable. Con, con, too many um, is for countables. For countable. Too much is for incountable. Exactly. Two yesterday study about the adverb, adverb of quantity. quantity. Exactly. Exactly. Yes. All right, very good. Anybody else? Anything else? Teacher. Yeah? Un, uh, a question. Yeah. Uh, how do you say, así lo haré? I will do so. I will? Do so. I'll put do it in so. the chat. I will do so. I will do so. I will do, do so. so. Do so. Uh, for example, así que quiere. Uh, it depends. W what is the previous uh, information? Uh, for example, uh, you say me correct the the example. I uh, you say no. Así que quiere. Oh, leave it like that. Leave it like that. Let me put it in the chat. Leave it. Leave it like that. Déjalo así. Que así quede. Yeah. Any other questions? Comments? No? Okay. So, um, let me ask you. What's the auxiliary we use? when we talk about future plans? Will. Will, or? Going to. Shall. Going to. Will oh, or yes. going to, right. Shall is also for future, but is contractual. 
it's future mandatory. So I will ask you to work in pairs and you will speak about the activities you have planned for this weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So the question will be, what are your plans for this weekend? What are your plans for this weekend? Are the instructions clear? Yeah. Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay. All right. All right. I got it. Okay. Excellent. So, lo voy a poner a trabajar en pareja y va a hablar sobre sus planes for this teacher, week. Teacher. Yes. Uh, please, uh, can we um, practice the answer? What answers? At this question, what oh. are your plans oh. for this weekend? Okay, my plans for this weekend, I will visit my uncle in San Vicente. Um, I'm going to stay home on Sunday because I have to paint my house. My family will probably go to Metrocentro and do some shopping. Those are examples. Okay. Teacher, a question? Yes. What's the difference between will and going to? Okay, going to is for plans. Will is for a possibility. Or will is for an action that was, it's a decision that was made at the time of speaking. So mm. if you have plans, if you have an agenda, you use going to. If it's a possibility, or if it's a decision that you made at the time of speaking, then you say will. Got it? Okay. Is will um, is a possibility? But will going to is a serve. Is it's 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 a plan. It's when you have plans. Yes. When I serve. When, when you're sure about something, exactly. Yes. Okay. Sure. So, yes. I have I have a question. What is Ask the me, sentence structure? Is the sentence structure? Okay. Or use the will uh, going to, for example. Okay. okay. Give me a second. So the question is, what are your plans for this weekend? Maybe I will visit my uncle in San Vicente. Maybe I will visit my uncle in San Vicente. Maybe. It depends if I have a car. It depends if I have money. If Teacher. it's a plan, if it's a plan, and you are sure about this plan, you will say, I am going to visit my uncle. You see the chat? Teacher. Yes, teacher. Going to is for when you uh, are um, segu seguro. Sure, when you are sure. Sure. Yes, when you are sure about something. It's sure, but is probably a possibility as well. Exactly, exactly. Okay. Grammatically speaking. ¿Por qué le digo gramaticalmente hablando? Porque en la vida real... Yo puedo ocupar will en vez de going to, and vice versa. And nobody will say anything to you. So, uh, but grammatically speaking, if you have plans, you use going to. If it's a possibility, you should say will. Got it? If I write, it's just going to or will. It's the difference when I write. Whether you're writing or you're speaking, the difference is plans, you use going to. Possibilities, you use will. Okay. Yep. Anybody else? Any other questions? All right. So let me make the rooms. Uh -huh. Let's see this here. Here we go. 
Uh, the question is, uh, what are the your plans to place for weekend? this weekend? But are now. So the weekend, uh, maybe are so a little busy for me. Yeah. Oh, okay. Probably plan for. I? Okay. Then I, don't um, go. No go. Don't go to to eat. No. Okay. Another plan might be. I'm coming, girl. I'm coming. I think. Two eighteen that I will um, do the uh, home, homework in my house. Homework. Uh, people in that uh, app or is only do exercise or something like that. Can you repeat that please? Uh, can you talk with mm -hmm. other people in English? Or well, is something like practice exercise or or what? Well, I practice here and the platform with 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 you and other and maybe and uh, sometimes I practice with my my sister. Oh, that's nice. Uh, and the Saturday, what do you do? Or what well, will you do? Well, and the Saturday, it's my turn for for clean. Well, I I going to clean my cat's litter.
Hello, Glenda. Hello, teacher. How are you? Fine. How are you? I'm okay. Thank you. Nice. Nice. Good. All right. Let's wait for the others to return. Let me see. They're coming in 20 seconds. Okay, do you guys have any questions on how to express your ideas in simple future? Or any type of future? Questions or comments about future people? No, for me it's clear. All right, good. Bueno, los demás se quedan callados. Me imagino que tampoco tienen preguntas. Anyways, let's change. Um, indirect and direct questions. Do you remember that topic? Yeah. Not really. Okay. No, I don't remember that. Okay. Ahí en el chat les puse las iniciales de tres nombres de personas que no han trabajado nada en el platform. Tienen que meterle. ¿Ya vieron el, 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 el chat? No. No. It's not there. Ahí están. Mire, ya le voy a decir. No, it's not there. Yes, it is. Inglés corporativo no. to everyone. Ah, you say in WhatsApp. No. In the, in the Zoom um, chat. I uh, entered the chat and no, no. It's right there. It's right no, there. No teacher, I can see. No teacher. The really? The of the reunion. The, the reunion? Nothing the reunion. appears. The chat is nothing. No, um, really? Yes, it's, it's, it's nothing. What it's, about now? Hello, yes. Okay. Oh, yes. No, yes. Okay. These are yes, the hey. initials. Listen, these are the initials of the people that have zero work. Uh, only say hello. <laughs> no right more. There. Right oh, okay. there. Okay. Ah, yes. Oof. <laughs> C my face, M -M. Uh -huh. my face when I, I didn't see my, <laughs> my <Exactly>. initials. <laughs> so those are the initials of three students that they have nothing in their platform. So you need to hurry up. If you want to confirm that this is your name, send me a WhatsApp. Say, Francisco, is this my name? Anyways, all right, so let me show you this. Give me a second. Okay. Um, okay, can you see my image? Yes. Yes. What is the name? Direct, direct, direct and indirect question. Indirect question. Okay, listen to this. Let me explain this. Indirect questions, people use them a lot. But just because people use them a lot doesn't mean that you must use it. Okay, how do you say, what time is it in Spanish? That is an example of a direct question. Now, how do you say, can you please tell me what time it is? How do you say that one in Spanish? Me puede decir que hora es, por favor. Puede decir que hora yeah. es? And that's indirect question. So the indirect question has like an introduction. It's more formal. It's more formal, it's more polite. Uh, 
And that's how many people speak. So imagine you go to a job interview and the recruiter asks you, do you have any questions for us? Then you will say, could you please tell me when the training starts? Do you know when we start with the new schedule? So those would be examples of indirect. So usually when we're in the process of learning English or improving English, when we make questions, we usually make them like this, direct questions. What flavor is this drink? Why isn't Sarah here yet? Has the film started yet? What's the price of this car? What time does the train leave? How much does Peter earn? What's the capital of Australia? So this is the way we usually uh, make questions. Now, when we're in the process of a job interview or if you're speaking with your supervisor or someone you don't know, it is recommended that you use indirect questions. So you sound more formal. Questions or comments? Uh, indirect question is used, can you, do you know, could yep. you tell me? Yes, yes, exactly. So what's the capital of Australia? It's not Sydney, what's the capital of Australia? Melbourne. Not really. No, 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 sorry. <laughs> uh-huh, what's the capital of Australia, people? Canberra. Yeah, Canberra. Canberra, yes. Excellent. Canberra. So Sydney is the most important city, but it's not the capital. It's like, um, what is the most powerful state in the U.S.? Washington. Mm -mm. New York. Uh -uh. Powerful state for what? Yeah, the, the most, okay. What is the most powerful state, financially speaking? Ah, uh, California. California, exactly. It's the more P a GDP in USA. Yep, yep. Usted puede separar California de Estados Unidos y sería la sexta nación más rica del mundo. Just California. Yes. It's, it's a very, oh. it's a rich country. Yep. Okay. Questions? I don't. Okay. So, how do you say, ¿Dónde está Miguel in English? Where is Miguel? Where, Where is Mike? Mm -hmm. Where is Mike? Listen Where carefully. Is Mike? Listen carefully. Cuando la pregunta lleva el verbo to be, where is Mike? Cuando usted la va a hacer indirecta, ese is va al final. Entonces yo le diría a usted, uh, can you please tell me where Mike is? Do you know where Mike is? Got it? Where mm -hmm. I used to be. So, uh, for example, uh, where is Zacatecoluca? That's a direct question. Where is Zacatecolo? Now, if I want to make an indirect question, I will say, excuse me, do you know where Zacatecoluca is? Is, is at the end of the question. Okay. Mm -hmm. Questions or comments? Teacher. Yeah? If you put the is, after no, for example, do you know is Zacatecoluca? Uh, no, no. I mean, you can make the question like that and people maybe would understand, but grammatically speaking, it's not good. Okay. Any other questions? Let's continue, teacher. Okay. Let me see this here. Ta -da -da. This one here. How do you say cargando in English? Loading. 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 You need to be very familiar with vocabulary related with technology. With technology. 
okay, where is the station? You have to change that question to indirect. Are you coming to the party? You have to change that question to indirect. Uh, any questions or comments? Questions or comments? Um, or what, what well, are we going to do? Okay, I'm going to assign you to work with a different person and you and the other person will do yeah. these six exercises. Hey, well, but the exercise is speaking. Exactly, yeah. Uh, okay. Are the instructions clear, people? Yes, teacher. All right. Yes, I do. Okay, let me yes, see this here. Breakout rooms, recreate. Recreate. Give me a second. All right, here we go.
Mister. Yes, sir. We have a question. It's more difficult for the example of the class than the number two or? Okay. Yes. All right, let's begin with the first one. Where's the station? What is the answer? Could you tell me Could you where tell the station me? is? Exactly. Could you tell me where the station is? Does everybody agree? Yes. Yes, I'm agreeing. <laughs> yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Number two. Are you coming to the party? Anybody? Could you tell me? Would you let me? Would you let, let, me, let me know? No. You're coming to the party. To the party. Coming ah. to the party. Okay. Could you let me know if you are coming to the party? If you if are coming to the party. If you are coming. Yes. Could you let me know if you're coming to the party? If. If. if if, if you are coming to the party. If you're coming to the party, exactly. The teacher, yeah. is, is the verb is no in the end? No, no. You are or using I, you, Okay, verb to be goes at the end. Only verb to be. Ah, okay. Only verb to be. Only verb to be, exactly. That's y entonces, dog. en ese ejemplo dos, ¿por qué R no quedó al final? Um, are you coming to the party? Could you let me know if you are coming to the party? That's a good question. Uh, when I say verb to be, I mean is. Only is is the end. Do you know where your brothers are? No. That, that's, a, that's a good question. Are you coming to the party? Could you let me know if you are coming to the party? That's a good question. Let's let's do number three. I'm gonna put an asterisk to number two. That's okay. a good observation. You are you are using uh, um, like a conditional for number two. Um, well, but where is the station? Could you tell me where the station is? Are you coming to the party? Could you let me know if you're coming to the party? Okay, let me put an asterisk to number two. Okay. How then. does it work? How does it work? Could you tell me how the work no. does work? It does work. Uh -uh. Could you tell me how it works? Could you tell me how it works? Works in plural. Not in plural, in third person singular. Ah, okay. Repeat, Words. please, teacher. Could you tell me how it works? Works. Yes. No does No does. Uh uh. Uh uh. Could you tell me how it works? Could you tell me how it works? Number four says, Has Lucy been to Mexico? I'm wondering. Uh huh. If Lucy has been to Mexico. I'm wondering if Lucy has been to Mexico. Got it? Got it. As Lucy? When you, uh, I, just for understand the structure. Yes. When you, when you use a conditional if, you change the, the subject with the auxiliary, um, you, you have the chance. In, First, uh, auxiliar verb, and then the subject. Um, you could say it like that. Have you been to New York? I was wondering if you have been to New York. You can use the if conditional. Yes, okay. you can. What about number five? Where are you from? Teacher, number four, repeat, please. I'm wondering if Lucy has been to Mexico. Okay, gracias. Good. What about number five? Where are you from? Uh-huh. Number five. Yeah, number five. Where are you from? Where are you from? I'd like to know, like to know where are you where, from? Where you where are from. You? Where you are from. 
where you are from. Yes, where you are from. Mm -hmm. And number six, how long does it take to get there? Would you mind telling me how to get there? Now remember, the best way to learn all this is by reading. Reading stories, reading articles, and when you expose yourself to this particular language, um, you internalize it. And when you internalize it, um, you use it naturally. Yes, because it's more complex for the examples. Exactly, exactly, yes. And going back to the second question, are you coming to the party? Could you let me know if you're coming to the party? Yeah, I don't know why R does not end at the end, honestly. But that's a, that's a good question, that's a good comment. Any mm. other questions or comments? Number six, teacher. Would you mind telling me how to get there? How to get there? Got it? Now, once again, remember I told you at the beginning of the class, you have direct questions and indirect questions. You can perfectly stay using direct questions. Uh, just in case you don't understand how to use indirect questions, uh, you can perfectly stay with the first option. It sounds difficult. <clears throat> yeah, it topic. sounds, yeah, yeah. And it takes a lot of practice. It takes a lot of practice. Mm -hmm. Yep. <clears throat> Any other questions or comments? No. No questions, no comments. Material for practice, teacher? Yes. I will I will send you material for practicing tomorrow morning. Please send me a WhatsApp saying Francisco, can you share material for last night's topic and I'll send it to you. Okay, thanks. All right. Teacher and number six. The verb get is with S, get. No, let, let me get back there. Mm -hmm. Where is it? Number six, would you mind telling me how to get there? Would you mind telling me how to get there? The get is, is in normal verbs. It's base form, yes. Okay, base form. Mm -hmm. Anybody you. else? Any other questions? No? For the moment, no. Teacher. Okay, did we talk about cell phones? Did I show you a set of questions related with cell phones? Les mostré una página María con preguntas relacionadas a los cell phones. No. 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 All right. No, teacher. Okay. Give me a second. Okay. Can you see those oh, yeah. questions? Yes. Okay. This is going to be our last activity for, for today. I will recreate uh, the rooms again. Thank you. All right. Uh, and share in the chat for the WhatsApp, please. Sure, sure. Teacher. Yep. Sorry, but I didn't connect it to the platform. Okay. You need and, to get to the platform. Okay. Um, I don't know what I do. <laughs> okay. Um, I have a problem with a platform. What kind of problem are you having? I go to maybe another group, I don't know, because I put the password 
and the uh, ID meeting, and I don't know what happened. Okay, let me see this here. Let me see if I got my Gmail open. Okay, anyways, uh, I'm gonna assign you to, to, to work and discuss these questions. And, and who's telling me that, uh, that has problems to access to the platform? Okay. Who is talking, who's talking? What's your name? Pau, Pau Cortez. Okay. Pau, send me a WhatsApp later on. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Okay, so let me see this here. Breakout rooms. All right, and here we go. Move to here. Here we go. Teacher, I, I couldn't enter. Intro okay. inside. Let me so see no. it. Um, Carlos Mesquita. ¿Cuál es lo correcto? No pude entrar. Es. I enter. couldn't. I couldn't get in. Ah, get in. Yes. Okay, give me a. Patricia. Hello. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. I am alone. Very good. Give me a second. Let me send you to another room. Okay, thank you. Thank you.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, do you have any questions about today's session? I don't have questions. I love a lot of questions, teacher. Okay. <laughs> the, key, the, the question is difficult. Yeah. Okay. All right. Good, yeah. good. The vocabulary is different. How do you say retard in English? How do you say retard in English? Challenge. Challenge. Yeah. Challenge. Challenge. Can you spell that word? Sure. Right now. Teacher, write in the chat, please. And right then. now. Challenge. challenge okay so when you feel that you challenge yourself you have to go the extra mile we continue monday if you have any other questions you can send me uh, uh your questions to my whatsapp have a good night see you on monday have a nice weekend same to you bye 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 see ya yeah.